Hey guys, welcome to Jack's Beautiful You. In today's video, we're gonna be going over my February perfume tray. So really quick, we're gonna recap January's perfume tray because I do have a fragrance that did not work out for me and has been decluttered and some perfumes that I absolutely loved in January that have become absolute like mind-blowing loves for me. So I wanna give you a recap on January and then we will pick out 10 new fragrances for February. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jackie. Thank you so much for clicking on my thumbnail today. I really appreciate you being here. If you like this video and you find it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and let's get into this video. All right, let's start off with the perfume that did not work out for me. It has been decluttered from my collection. This is by the House of Guerlain. This is La Petite Robe Noir Intense. I'm really upset about this because I absolutely loved the way that it smelled, but I think I went nose blind to it. So I have not really heard that many people say that that fragrance doesn't perform very well. I've heard people say it's a good performing perfume, and it's not really a complaint that I hear a lot about that fragrance. So I really am convinced that I just go anosmic to it. I love the way that it smells for about the first hour that I have the fragrance on and then I can't smell it anymore. I had a couple of you tell me to let it sit for a while, let it sit for a few months, and that it would get stronger. I did that. I bought it about four months ago, I think. I let it sit for a while. I took it back out for January and I just couldn't smell it after an hour and I got so mad because I love the blueberry and cotton candy in the opening and then the dry down kind of slightly reminds me of like Coco Mademoiselle or maybe like a Sophia by Sophia Vergara, kind of that classy kind of vibe but with a blueberry and cotton candy twist and it was time to pass it along. Okay, I had two decants in the month of January. The first one is Cherry Punk. This is by Room 1015. I have a decant from Scentbird. I bought this myself. They didn't send it to me. And I was super curious about Cherry Punk. I did not finish this decant, but I do know that once I get through it, I will be purchasing a full-size bottle. I don't know where I'm at because there's tape around it, but I think I finished about half of this decant, and I really, really enjoyed it. So Cherry Punk has like Tom Ford's Lost Cherry in the opening. It's very much that kind of cherry. It's a tart, sour, but yet sweet, edible, juicy, yummy, kind of boozy cherry. And then there's definitely leather in here. There is a big, very prominent leather note in here that I really do make out, but I find it very easy to wear. It's a leather that is smooth. It's not harsh, it's not cold, it's not sharp. It's it's smooth and it really mixes well with the cherry. It's incredibly sexy and, you know, I probably should have put this on my tray for February because it's sexy and would make like a good sexy Valentine's Day date night scent. But I did really enjoy this one in the month of January. I do think this is full bottle worthy. The performance on Cherry Punk is really good. I can definitely smell this on me all day. No issues with the performance at all. So eventually full bottle worthy once I make it through this decant. The other decant I had is by Nishane, 100 Silent Ways. And this one, when I first tried 100 Silent Ways a while back ago, I think I tried it in the wrong weather. I didn't really think much of it. I wasn't really impressed. I didn't know what the hype was about this. I smelled it. I thought it was nice. I never thought it was a bad fragrance, but I never really got the hype behind it. I just thought it was okay. Pulled it back out, tried it again, and really enjoyed it a lot more. This is a pretty strong fragrance. It's a white floral fragrance, but it's a sweet white floral and vanilla fragrance. I made it about halfway through my decant. I did wear it a couple of times, and I enjoyed it way more than I did the first time. I wore it when the weather was a little cooler, and I, th I think that was the key for me. I really don't like it in warm weather because when I think of white florals, I think of warm weather. I think of springtime, but this is a winter white floral for me. So I think it all had to do with the season that I tried it in. I will say though, I still don't think I'm going to get a full bottle of this because even though I liked it so much more, I still found myself only liking it. Like it was a strong like, 
but it never really got to a full-on love. I do appreciate it. I do think it's a great perfume. I think it has really good performance. I think it's really good quality. I think it smells really pretty. I think that it's a white floral blended really well with beautiful vanilla. There's nothing wrong with the fragrance, and I definitely recommend it. I just personally don't I can't quite seem to get over the hump from really liking to love. And I'm getting a lot pickier about the fragrances I bring into my collection. They have to be loves for me. So I'm pretty happy with the decan. I'll finish this up. I'll enjoy it. But I probably won't be getting a full bottle. So that's by Nishane 100 Silent Ways. Which, by the way, I did try another Nishane fragrance, which I'm not going to tell you about yet, but I am so in love with this fragrance. I cannot wait to share it with you guys, but I'll share it in my next video. Um, or a video coming soon. I've been testing a lot of fragrances and that that perfume is one of them and that perfume is full bottle worthy for me. But anyway, stay tuned for that. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Click the notification bell so you can see all of my future uploads. Did you like how I threw that in there? Just real quick. All right, I also had Velvet Vanilla by Mancera on my tray for January. This hit the spot for me for my tuberose craving. If you've been watching my channel, you know I love tuberose. It's my favorite white floral, and the more bubble gummy, the better, <laughs> which is not everybody's cup of tea. That is an unpopular opinion, I believe. I think there are a lot of people who don't like tuberose, but I love it, and I love this fragrance. This is a very large bottle, and this is a very strong perfume. And again, this is another white floral vanilla fragrance, but I really need to wear this in cold weather, I have discovered. Wearing this in warmer weather is a bit much for me and it's just overpowering so if you can see the dent I don't know if you can see the dent I put in here but this is from January I wore this one a lot in January really really loved it so this has Angelica so there's a touch of green but not too much there is a lot of bubblegummy tuberose and then the dry down is a creamy vanilla I think it's absolutely beautiful super strong performance perfect white floral vanilla for winter time and I enjoyed this one a lot this month. Okay, another one, I have to put this one away for a while because I went insane over this perfume. I still feel a very strong love for this perfume. <laughs> it is really up there for me. This is by Parfums de Marley Herod. I have been talking about this one nonstop since I got it. I cannot seem to shut up about it, but at least you guys know I truly love this fragrance. I think this is gorgeous. I wore this a lot in January. I couldn't stop reaching for it. My husband was wearing it. We were both smelling like Herod in January. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I actually grabbed his hoodie and I put it on. I was freezing cold, grabbed his hoodie, walked out the door, and I was like, I smell amazing. Oh, Herod. And then I was like, hey. So this is the only fragrance that my husband and I jokingly fight over. And I think it's funny. It's just so funny that we found a fragrance that we both equally love. Like we're both equally <laughs> obsessed over this fragrance. So this is cinnamon, tobacco, and vanilla. It is very unisex. There is not a gender with this. I, I am more of a feminine leaning type of person when it comes to fragrances, but I feel incredibly comfortable wearing Herod and I think it's gorgeous. So if you like tobacco and warm, spicy, vanilla kind of fragrances, definitely give this a shot. It smells amazing on both women and men. Another one I went crazy about this month was from Zerzhoff. This is Italica. I really didn't even like this perfume when I first tried it about a year ago or maybe long. I don't know. I don't remember. I am time challenged. I don't know. I could say like, oh, a week ago, but really it was like six months ago. I don't know. I am so time challenged, you guys. I used to think I didn't like this. I think I had a bad sample. It smelled like burning plastic on me when I first tried it retried it, fell in love, and I have been in love ever since. So this is a very gourmand, lactonic, buttery almond cookie. Although in the opening, when I first spray it, for some reason I get cherry. I'm not sure why. There's no cherry listed in the notes, but I get this cherry amaretto liqueur boozy feeling. And then I get this creamy, milky, lactonic vibe. And then in the deep dry down, it smells like a buttery almond cookie, like the best buttery almond cookie you could ever imagine, like from the best bakery in the world. <laughs> it is so freaking good. Now the performance on this I did realize isn't amazing. It's okay. It's not terrible. It's mediocre, I would say, but I don't even care. I do not care. I think I get about five hours of wear out of this, but 
I don't care because I think this is one of the best gourmands Ever. And it's a really unique gourmand in my opinion. I really don't have anything else like it. I don't know where I'm at in this bottle because I'm kind of scared. I can't really see. Oh my god, I can see. The light's hitting it. I'm like right here by the eye. That's how much I... W Holy crap, is that right? Oh my god, 100 mil will be coming my way shortly, so can't be without this. So this is by Zerzhov Italica. All right, another one I wore a lot and enjoyed, but not quite as much as the other ones, but I still reached for it a few times. This is by Guerlain. This is Spiritueuse Double Vigny. I did put quite the little dent in here, and this is my favorite vanilla ever. So I just love this one. I think it's amazing. Again, the performance is okay. It's not amazing, but I don't care because I think the smell is just beautiful. So I will respray this, I will reapply it, or I'll just move on to something else, just depending on my mood. But yeah, I think I get about four to five hours of wear out of this with a small scent bubble around me, but I just love the wafts I get throughout the day on this fragrance. So this is a boozy, woody vanilla is what it smells like to me. has a little bit of incense in it that I pick up, but just a small touch. I get a lot of a boozy feel though to this fragrance. I really pick up, I think there's rum in here. It's not listed on Fragrantica, but I think it is listed on the official Girl On website. Rum, definitely some sort of like dark, sweet liquor, booze. And then it dries down to this gorgeous, sophisticated, and very formal smelling woody vanilla that I just love. To me, this doesn't smell like an overly sweet like cupcake vanilla. This is more of a I don't know, it, it's hard to explain. It's just this like really sophisticated, the most grown up vanilla ever, and I think it's gorgeous. All right, we have by Latafa. This is the Pride Collection. This is Nebras. This has gotten a lot of popularity. Lots of people are hyping this up for good reason. I think this is a good perfume. I don't think it's like the best perfume I've ever smelled in my entire life, but I think the reason why people are so excited about it is because it's pretty affordable. It's under the $50 mark, I believe, somewhere in there. I don't know the size of this, but it's a pretty decent sized bottle. And, you know, it's really a very pleasant and good yummy swelling gourmand. It's a fruity gourmand. There are berries and orange in the opening, which I definitely picked that up. And then in the base, you have some cacao, you have a lot of vanilla. It's just a really delicious smelling, good performing, affordable fragrance that just smells delicious in my opinion. So if you like fruity notes, if you like gourmand notes, if you like vanilla, I can't imagine you wouldn't like this. It's sweet, it's delicious, it's affordable, it has good performance. I mean, that's why people are talking about it. It's not because it's the most mind-blowing perfume that ever came out. It's not because it needs to, you know, win an award or it's like nothing we've ever seen before. <laughs> it's not anything like that, but it's just an affordable gem in my opinion. So I really like this one and I enjoyed it a lot in the month of January. So if you like fruity gourmand vanilla fragrances, I think you'd really like this. All right, and then I had Chocolate Queen by Navitis Parfums. Beautiful fragrance. I did put a little dent in here in the month of January. Definitely one of my all-time favorite chocolate scents. This and Chocolate Greedy are my two favorite chocolate scents. And I think this is a fantastic fragrance, but it has a twist. I think you gotta know that there's some woody notes and some bitter almond in here, which I personally like because it keeps the gourmand notes not as sweet, like not over the top sweet to where it's sickening sweet. I think this is really well done and I really enjoy Chocolate Queen. And then I also had a Venom of Love on my tray as well, which this one, I don't know if you can see the dent, but this one I really enjoy. This smells like a cherry cordial, a chocolate covered cherry. And it has like the ooey gooey, like I can smell the ooey gooey white stuff in the middle and then the booziness if you were to put booziness in your chocolate covered cherries. That's what this smells like to me. It's very good, it's very delicious. If you like realistic, 
fruity gourmands and smelling like a cherry cordial with some boozy notes sounds appealing to you. I can't imagine you wouldn't like this one. Really good performance on this. I have no issues. I have no issues on the performance of either of these. I think they're both really great gourmand, yummy, delicious fragrances that I enjoyed wearing in January. All right, so the month of February, I purposely left out fragrances that I'm going to think about wearing for Valentine's Day. So my husband and I, we are going to go out together for Valentine's Day for a date night like we do every year. Year, and I don't know what I'm gonna wear for that so I kind of left options open so that'll be a separate video coming up soon where I will talk to you guys about possible sexy date night options but the 10 fragrances that I have here are fragrances that I feel like this is it, you know? I feel like I need to get some of my heavy hitters in. So the first one is by Givenchy and this is Lindre D. This is a fragrance that I find to be extremely heavy hitting and powerful. And I know we have some cold weather days coming up that I feel like this will be a good one. And we've had a couple of cold days Everybody had a cold front going through like December. We had uncharacteristically cold days, but I had other perfumes that I was trying and testing and I just never really seemed to get around to this. This is it. February is the month for this fragrance. I love this perfume and I'm just sad that I don't get to wear it very often. So this is a white floral tuberose pear in the opening. I absolutely love the opening of this. It has a bubblegummy tuberose, but not over the top bubblegum. It still smells very classy, very elegant, sophisticated, very well blended. It has this sweet juicy pear in the opening. It has the white floral trifecta. It has jasmine, it has tuberose, it has orange blossom. There's also patchouli and vanilla in the base of this. There's vetiver in here. I think there's ambroxan. It's just a very classy, elegant, but very strong fragrance that I love. All right, another fragrance that I just never wear because it is so strong and I feel like this is only a winter cold weather fragrance and I really want to get some use out of it. This is by Juliana's Perfumes. This is Aphrodite's Rose. This is a dupe for Initio's Atomic Rose, which I absolutely love. This one is a little bit sweeter though, and it's it doesn't go quite as dark, like not as deep and dark as the rose that's in Atomic Rose. It's a pretty close dupe, but it's not 100%. I'd say, you know, 90% the same. The opening is where it's different, but in the dry down, and then when you smell it in the air, by the time this dries down, the sillages of this and Atomic Rose are pretty similar. This is a beast fragrance. Not as beastly as Atomic Rose, but it's still pretty strong, and that's why I like to wear it, or I want to wear it in cold weather. So I think it's absolutely beautiful, and yeah, I can't, I can't wait to finally give this some love. I really have only worn this like once or twice since I've gotten it. This one was sent to me by the brand. And I think it's really good. So excited to wear Aphrodite's Rose by Juliana's Perfumes. Okay, I did recently get Ivory Root from Zerzhoff and I cannot wait to wear this. I feel like now's the time. And my window for wearing this is coming to a close because this is a very strong, spicy perfume. This is a winter perfume for sure. The opening has so many spices. There's warm spicy, there's fresh spicy. I don't know all the notes in here because they're vaulted. I'm pretty sure there's vanilla in here. I'm pretty sure there's tobacco in here. I don't know what's all in here, but it is a warm, spicy, vanilla, semi-sweet, not overly sweet, but it does have some sweetness to it. Sexy, winter, strong perfume. You have to like spicy notes to like this fragrance. If you do not like spicy notes, just don't, don't even, don't even, because it's extremely spicy, but I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So that is Ivory Root from Zerzhov. I cannot wait to wear this one. Also, I want to try a newer fragrance to my collection. This is by Afnon and this is Modest Dew. This is a fragrance that smells a lot like Lancome's La Nuit Trezor. This is right in that same vein, but it smells a little different. I have La Nuit Trezor and this one, and I think they're different enough to justify both of them, but this one smells like it could be a flanker. La Nuit Trezor, I get a lot of strong strawberry. This one I get cherry for sure. I pick up like this cherry almond vibe in here and there's also raspberry in here and strawberry I believe. I do pick up hints of raspberry from this as well alongside of the cherry. It's fruity, it's sweet, it's 
feminine. This would actually make a really good Valentine's Day scent because I think it's sexy and I just really like this one. I've worn it a few times since I've gotten it but I haven't had a chance to really dive into this fragrance. From what I can tell the performance is pretty decent but like I said I've only worn it a couple of times just to test it so I'll come back and let you know about the performance at the end of the month but so far I'm really impressed. Super affordable. I paid less than $30 for this and I think it's a fantastic fragrance. So that is Modestu by Afnon. All right, up next we have by Parfums de Marly Wajan. This is a fragrance that I've been wearing anyway, <laughs> but this is this is it, you know, February is going to be the last month that I can wear this for a while, so I got to get my wares in where I can. This is an incredibly strong fragrance. It is a beast. It fills up the room, and I think it is absolutely fantastic. It is a unisex fragrance. Anyone can wear this, and I feel comfortable wearing it as a woman. I think it smells very spicy. There's a lot of cinnamon. There is osmanthus, which I think comes across as like a spicy apple. Uh, somehow there's an apple vibe in here, but I don't know where that's coming from because there are no actual apple notes listed. But to me, it smells like a spiced apple and it also has like a darker, kind of like a Middle Eastern kind of base to my nose. There's patchouli in the base and there's also labdanum in here, I think, which kind of creates, is there a labdanum? I don't know. I don't know for sure if there is, but there's something in here that creates more of a darker base. I would call this a semi-gourmand. It's not really that gourmand in the dry down. Some people compare this to Angel Share. I've told you guys before, I don't think they're that similar, but they do both have like a spiced apple vibe to them. And I think if you like fragrances like Angel Share, if you like spicy, if you like apple, this is absolutely gorgeous. I just love this fragrance. And if you're looking for a heavy hitter, this is definitely a heavy hitting perfume. So I'm super excited to wear this in February. It's incredibly sexy and loud and yummy and just everything I love in a perfume. So that is by Parfums de Marly Wajan. Ojan or Wajan. I'm not really sure. Still, I don't know how to pronounce this. You know, I was thinking, Okay, so I don't really pronounce things very well. If you've been watching my channel for a while, it's not a secret, okay? It's not a secret <laughs> that I don't always know how to pronounce everything. I have a really hard time, especially with French. I suck at French. I suck at it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but I do have a hard time pronouncing things, even English, like English words that I should know. I know that some people get like really upset about it, like really bent out of shape if you don't pronounce something right. And I was thinking, don't get upset. Like, don't get annoyed. You know, you could make a game out of it. Like, you could do a drinking game when you watch my videos. Like, every single time I mispronounce something, you take a shot. You'll be wasted by the end of the video. <laughs> All right, another one I want to put on my tray. I've put it on my tray a couple of times and I struggled to wear it. And it's not because I don't love this fragrance. It's just because I keep picking the wrong weather, I'm pretty sure. But this is by Chanel. This is Chance Eau de Parfum. This is, I think they have an EDT version of this as well. This is the original Chance and this is the EDP version. As you can see, there's not much of a dent in here, but I really love this perfume. So I really want to give this a good chance. I really want to get some wares out of this. I want to see a dent in this perfume and I think it's absolutely gorgeous. It is pink pepper in the opening. There's a lot of jasmine in here and then there's that gorgeous classic warm Chanel patchouli that we all know and love in here and I think it smells super classy and elegant and I cannot wait to wear this one. So that is by Chanel Chance the Eau de Parfum. Another one I really feel like I need to wear in warm weather because it is a heavy hitter. It is a beast and if I spray too much it gives me a headache. I need cold weather for this fragrance. This is by YSL and this is Lieb Intense. Libra? It's not Libra, but it's like Lieb with an R-E in a way that I can't pronounce it. So I'm just going to say Lieb. <laughs> hey, take a shot. Speaking of taking a shot, when I first smelled this fragrance, I hated it because it smelled like straight up alcohol to me. It literally smelled like somebody had poured a shot of some sort of very strong liquor and like that's what I smelled the first time I ever tried this. I don't know why, but it made me sick, like it made me nauseous and I thought I truly despise this fragrance. And then many, many months later I went back to try it again and fell in love. But this is my favorite flanker. This is the intense version and I like this one more than any of the others. Although I do like the other ones, like the original I like, it's okay. 
but it's kind of sharp to me, like sharp and a little bit screechy. The new one, the Le Parfum that just came out, that one I love as well, but this one is my favorite. It's very vanilla forward and it just has my heart. Very classy, sophisticated, powerful type of scent. Very strong, loud, and I really want to put a good size dent in this for the month of February. Plus, I tell you guys this all the time, but the bottle is to die for. Isn't this like the best bottle? This is like the most classy and sophisticated. I love this neck part, like that gold around the top. It's so beautiful. What a great bottle. All right, we have to smell edible in February as well. And this is by Jacette Parfums. This is Accident All of the Knee. I really, really love this perfume. This is a gourmand. This smells like vanilla and caramel. It smells like a vanilla baking cookie with caramel swirl. It's a realistic foodie gourmand though. You have to want to smell like actual cookies and caramel, which I do. Love that and I love this perfume. Great performance, and you will literally smell like a baked good. You will smell good enough to eat for sure. So I'm excited for this one that is by Jacette Parfums Accident All of the Knee. All right, one that has not gotten a lot of love for me lately, and I need to change that, but again, this is another heavy hitter that is for cold weather, and this is by Victor and Roth. This is Flower Balm Nectar. I love this one, but I don't wear it very often. There's only a little baby dent in here, and I wanna change that. I wanna get some good wears out of this. I think this smells incredible. It smells, it has a lot of the original Flower Balm DNA in here, but there's gunpowder in the opening, which that's not for everybody. Not everybody is into that, so gunpowder in the opening it does give it a tiny bit of kind of like a metallic twist but I actually really like it I find it super unique super interesting and there aren't very many perfumes that have gunpowder in it okay <laughs> that is just different it's fun it's playful it's sexy this is a very powerful loud fragrance that I can't wait to wear and actually this would be a great one for valentine's day like a date night valentine's this would be this is playful sexy but it also makes me feel like a badass every time i wear it because there's gunpowder in the opening <laughs> i mean come on isn't that the coolest thing ever like you're wearing perfume with gunpowder in it you cannot get more badass than that okay you just can't but i just think this is a beautiful fragrance that's unique but yet still very sexy and playful and fun and yeah i'm really excited for this one so that is by victor and roth flower bomb nectar all right now i have a lot of heavy hitters here i have a lot of fragrances that are just like boom fill up a room and like hello look at me i've i have arrived <laughs> i do need a fragrance that's a little on the chill side a little bit more toned down so i did choose by killian this is love don't be shy extreme so this is a very sweet fragrance but it's not super loud it is an okay performing perfume it's medium like you know, moderate projection, moderate longevity. Oh, I just love this one. I am getting in the mood for this. So for me, this smells like you took a bed of rose petals, some orange blossom, you threw some fluffy powdery marshmallows on top and then added some yummy like Turkish delight and put it all together and that's this fragrance. It's delicious. It smells amazing. I love orange blossom. I love the added rose in here. I really like the original Love Don't Be Shy, but the extreme version has my heart. This is the one for me. All right, guys, and that is it for today's video. Those are the fragrances that I have chosen to wear to concentrate on in the month of February, although I will tell you that I did just recently buy a bunch of new perfumes, so I do have a haul video coming once everything is in. I will show you some of the fragrances. Some of them I had tested and I knew that I wanted to buy. Some of them are blind buys, so I will share that with you in a very soon upcoming video but that is it for today if you like this video and you found it helpful please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel i hope everybody is having a fantastic day and i will see you in my next video bye